Uh, no. You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Teasing? Yeah, let's tease it. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Wait, what? Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Or some breath. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Yeah, I'm about to dress you up nice, boy. We're going to a titty bar. Nice clothes, nice clothes. Okay, nice clothes. Let's see. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Let's pick Streaky. Oh, we should have went with Hippie, huh? Well, what would it look like having a Hippie in a strip club? Pay you and put his feet on you or something? <coughs> nope, here we go. Going to Brown Are Town? You all right, Lieutenant. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Learn more about Hank. Let's go play with Sumo. Oh no, wait, maybe we can go in his room. Maybe his room will have something interesting in it. Let's see. We got a book. Time to pull the plug. Time to pull the plug. Screening for depression. Oh boy. Include poor sleep, strain, eyesight, lack of face to face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment, depression. Ah, uh, growing up, finally had two and three people and antidepressants like social interaction leading the cause. Meanwhile, they average only 82 of their time communicating through device rather than in person. Relationships are suffering for in a response. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I like how. I like how my favorite part about this is it's like time to pull the plug and it shows like that guy on a phone, she's on a phone, and it looks like that little kid's holding a TV remote. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, tainted love. Police use marketing data to identify criminals early. Polix so you can uh, sell to Android and intimate partners. Damn. Sales of Android's intimate partners are exploding. Android's capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs. Have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep store stock. Though the idea seemed far-fetched initially, those androids offer nothing less than a full party experience for men or women. Avengers, many androids take care of the house, cook at a high standard, fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, "Not tonight, honey. I have a headache." Well, sales of androids and partners are exploding. That's what we just read. That's how I initially focused on urban singles to buy this model. This year's record divorce rate seems to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than a human partner. That's because people piss me off. Let's put this down. Why would you do why would you do that? Why would you go find somebody that's gonna give you a damn headache when you can just buy one that won't? That's that's pretty much how the world is in this, you know? So like you said. All the heartache, headaches, generalization of hating people, hating Christensen. Then you just you could just buy you a worm and that'll cook food and give it up. I guess that's just what that's all people care about. Damn, hey, you nasty! Oh, he's a little boy. Oh, damn. That explains why he's. Uh, oh, please don't tell me that like his son got like killed by like a deviant, and that's why he hates androids. Because then that would make perfect sense, and that's depressing. Nice gun. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Well, Russian he told the truth. Before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Well. He 
Yeah, you look good. Should I play with your dog? There hey, he is. good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Yo, we picked some good ass clothes. He's Miss Crab looking good. Aww. Sumo's cool. And we missed out on two things that he could have. I think. How does the game work? Is I don't think it was based on time. I think it was just based on whatever two things you found in there. Do you think? Because, like, there's four things we could have found in the house to learn more about Frank. Hank, my bad. <laughs> but I think maybe, like, after you find two things, then the game continues? Or did we take too long reading the magazine? I don't know. A distant attitude. Calm Hank's dog. There's one place we didn't check there. Okay. Ooh, now we're going back to Marcus where we're going to rob the shipyard. We're going to do some heist stuff. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, we're like, we're like secret agents. Why am I so slow? Don't let them see us. I'm just following y'all. Oh, good looking, good looking. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. All right. Going in. I'm gonna follow her. Surprised no one, well, I was gonna say, I'm surprised no one's heard or seen anything, but I mean, it is raining. Got it. Yo, this is fancy, dog. This is fancy. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Almost there. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Wait, what, what are we gonna do? We gonna kung fu a drone? We don't have a gun. Okay, okay. What is this? We would be spotted. No shit. Okay, uh... What about this? Let's see what this would lead to. Would be too high. <laughs> Man, get your hops on, dude. Put some Nikes on and just do it. Okay. Then we kung fu it. Would be too far. No, we just fall and bust our ass.
And then land on it and bust it. Okay. Just ride it down to the floor. Whee! It looks so fun. Okay, here we go. Going down, little buddy. Oh, get dunked on. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. How are you doing? Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Uh, search for crates for parts. Uh, okay, I'll go around. Y'all kind of blocking the way. God damn it! How the hell? Do I hate it when they do that because then I have to like, I, like I told you before, I keep my hand under the desk. So like whenever I got to do that, I just be smacking the damn desk, busting my fingers. They catch us? Uh oh. Brother man, please don't tell. You were trespassing on private property. Brother man. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. Brother man. I will notify security. Please don't. John! God Damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh my gosh. Come here! Shut up! John! Shh, shh. I need your help. John! Don't kill a man for doing his job, please don't. That's shitty. First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's That's finish it. up just, and get out of here. He just going. Try to find some blue blood. He just gonna Still chill. Have That's it. He's he's done snitching because we didn't kill him. He's like, oh, thanks, brother, man. I'm done now. I'm gonna just watch. Check the bigger crate. Okay. Let's go check the big papa crate. What the hell are you doing? Get back up there. Oh. Oh. the cause the more the ma well is that, I don't know is that bad that's why we're here in the first place is we don't have enough of the people we already got we just found a a crate full of James Franco's <laughs> That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Do it. They come with us. Fuck it. Be I mad. know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. You know what I find funny? How they run on autopilot, she, but they her, turn manually with a key. Where is this key? I find it funny how down there in the control station. 
There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Let's get the key. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. You know what I find funny? We we saved that room full of Dave Franco's. And she was, you know, she was totally fine with that. But then the brother wanna join our cause and she gets mad? Alright, see how it is. I see how I see what's really good. Right, how we with this key shit? Slip in through the window. Ain't that some ain't that some shit? We save all the Dave Franco's, it's okay. Brother man wanna join us. She's like, no. I don't like it. Wee. Goddamn dogs. Uh find the key, find the key. Where would the key be? What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. That's the key. They don't like storms. Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Deal with the guards. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Threaten the guards? I don't know. Can we get him out? Lure the guards outside. That seems like a better idea. Because last time we tried to lure somebody, we accidentally... I mean, not lure. Last time we tried to threaten somebody with a gun. Remember what happened with that? We killed that... We killed that dude. <laughs> We're already in enough trouble. Uh, where is the barrels? Okay. The camera? Here we go. Fuck. What was that? The drugs fell down. Booyah. Like taking candy from a baby. Let's get this key and be out. We out. We outie. Yay, yay. The Klutchinski. Did you get it? Nice. You're right. All right, get inside the truck. We drive this R2. All right, I would have figured that. Yeah, won't let us through. Come on. Okay. Booyah. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Kinda. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's pretty much it. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. 
But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Yeah. Let's go to Canada. <laughs>